Hello, fifth graders. So we're going to be starting on our tiger paintings. Now, it's a lot like these drawings. We're just starting it exactly the same way. All we're doing is just starting on the drawing. And you can see this fits right here, but this paper is larger. It's actually 18 by 12. If you don't have a paper this big at home, try to use whatever size you can, but the bigger is going to be better, especially when we start painting these guys. A lot easier to paint these if you're drawing bigger. Now, on this paper right here, you have to decide where your head's going to be. I think mine's going to be right here. I uh, always recommend that you have a drawing or a picture or a photo of a tiger with you. That way you can use it for reference. Now, I'm going to start off the same way I showed everybody. I'm going to start off with just a circle. And then down here at the bottom, I'm going to make the muzzle. The muzzle sticks out, so it's pretty big. Remember, this is a big cat, not a small cat. So the muzzle's huge. It's not small. I don't want to see anybody drawing just a little bitty thing here. It should be a fairly good-sized muzzle. Now, after I have this done right here, I'm going to start by making all of his little kitty cat facial features. Uh, right here, towards the top of the muzzle, I'm going to have a little triangle like all cats have. One line that comes down, and then the mouth opens up like this. Very, very much like a cat. However, this is not a little cat. It's a big old tiger. So you have to make the mouth much bigger. You also can make the chin nice and fuzzy. You can even open the mouth if you wanted to. To open it, all you have to do is just basically drop the mouth down a little bit. And if you do that, don't forget to move the chin down with it. Okay, I'll put some little teeth here, some little teeth here, some teeth here. And now you can see how I dropped the mouth a little bit. Then after that, I'm going to go ahead and make the eyes. Eyes are somewhere near the middle of the head. So right here, I'm going to make my eyes coming in and pointing towards my nose, coming in and pointing to my nose. Then I'm going to make a course, big old circle, big old circle with a small dot. And to finish it off, of course, color in all these little midi mediums parts, you know, looks very, very uh, almond shaped, very much like a little moon right there. There we go. And you can, of course, draw these lines coming a little bit closer to the nose. It's where they connect. You usually see the muzzle coming out from the eyes. Then after that, I'm going to go ahead and start with the ears. The ears are like triangles. They're like triangles. They're going off to the side over here, out and out, out and out, but they're very round. You're not going to make points. You're going to make them very round. Then, of course, you can put some little hairs on the inside and the top of the head. And to finish our tiger off, because we're pretty much almost done, let's go ahead and give them a, let's straighten out the size of the head. Remember, the tiger usually has like a beard. It's a lot like a lion in that it has a lot of hair coming off to the sides. So starting with the ear, let some hair start coming down here all the way down to the mouth. It's like an extra part of my little tiger right here. And there we go. So... Nice little beard looking thing over here. Now, once I get to this point, all I need now is the body. And remember that our tiger is super thick, very, very strong, the biggest of the big cats. So I'm going to make his body very thick. Don't start the neck down here. It's no good. It has to be very large. So I'm going to start maybe here at the middle of the head. Let that get bigger and maybe just drop this down here. That's a fairly good sized body. If I really want to draw the side of the body, maybe I'll let it go off to the side over here. That's still... A okay. Now, the reason why it doesn't look very much like a tiger is because I haven't put any of my details in. You know that you're going to be drawing your little dots, your little stripes. We don't need to worry about that right now. If you really want to put it in, you can, but the most important thing is just to have this part ready. All right. Now, if you like this, take a look at your real tiger, find out if you really like this or not, um, just figure out what you could fix, what could be changed, what you could do better, and then you could either fix this one or you could turn it over to the back and actually do another one. And I'm just going to start with a circle. Uh, if you want to try something more challenging, maybe make the muzzle looking off to the side over here. And then I'm going to finish off my details pretty much really quickly because I don't want to waste time here and I'm ready to start painting. That's what this video really is about. So I'm not going to put too many more details over here, just some very fast ones. Give them some nice little yeah, out here, out here, out here, out here and maybe out there and that's about as much as i want and sure let's go ahead and give him a nice body back here like that and maybe like that now you're going to pick your best one either this one or this one and whichever one you like the best we're going to start painting the background now the background is going to be painted as a tint a tint means it's a light color now to make any color light you're going to need white and i've got tempera paints right here tempera paints are probably the best paints for mixing so i'm going to use this and if you're at home you can use your brush to put this on since i have a bottle i'm just going to pour it right on here 
Not a whole lot, but I'm going to put some on here. And I'm going to start by painting my background just white, just plain old white. And you might be wondering, well, why in the world am I painting white paper white? Well, there's actually a very good reason why. This is the best way to spread the paint out. And that way I don't get any blue splotches or red splotches when I put my color on here. Now, after I paint everything white, I'm going to pick a color. Uh, it doesn't have to be blue. I just happen to pick blue because it's very popular. But it can be any color. Now, the more paint, more color you have, the darker it's going to be. The less paint you have, the lighter it's going to be. So I only put a few dots. I'm going to get a little bit of water, and I'm going to start mixing it. And you'll see that blue changes quite a bit. That is nowhere near dark blue anymore. Now it's very, very light. And I'm just going to come over here, paint all this stuff, paint all this stuff, paint all this stuff, paint it, and done. Now, it's all mixed, but it's not very neat. This is not a very smooth texture, and we do want the background to be smooth. So how can you make these lines smooth? Well, you'll see that anytime I move my brush, I'm leaving little lines behind. Those are called my brush strokes. I want these brush strokes to almost be invisible. The easiest way to do that is to make them all going in the same direction and to make them straight. So I'm going to get a little bit of water, and I'm just going to move my brush to the side, just like this. And you can see the effect that that's having. It's making the background extremely smooth. So it's very easy to tell the difference between this side and this side. But I could, of course, fix this side nice and quickly. And so there we go. Now the background is finished. That's our first step for our tiger. In my next video, I'll show you how to start painting Mr. Tiger.